Let's go ahead and back it off and do the double. Where would you use this? This is used on, in my mind, I would be using it on corners of 40 wide tents, 40 wide tension structures. I would use it on intermediate legs of 80 wide tension structures. I would use it on lace lines. If you have a split lace line like these tents, I would use one on each side. Or the next product over, you can see, you can use one bar for two web guys to make a split lace line. In very, very, very soft soils, I don't have any problem seeing that on a 20 wide or a 30 wide if the soil is really soft because that's what you need to have to anchor the tent down. If you need to multiply the poor soil conditions to a point where you can meet that minimum number that I'm looking for of a thousand pounds on one of those small tents, you may have to use that. On extremely large tents, 100 and 120 wides, you're going to see these probably times five or times six in a big semicircle around the corner of the tent. You're going to see probably multiples of these at lace lines. And you could, in the right soil conditions, seeing these as the single holding point on every intermediate. Some of these 100 and 120 foot wide tents take upwards of four to 500 stakes. And you can't cut corners there. You have to do it the way it's drawn, and yet you have to know what's going on below your feet in order to make these decisions. For about 1,800, you're gonna probably not wanna go much beyond about six-ish, okay? And listen, yeah, well, listen, listen to the webbing because this scares me all the time. Where are you at? 6, That's good. All right. So you can see there's 6,000 pounds. The breaking strength on a lot of these products, you're getting pretty close to where hooks might fail, ratchets might fail. All of this stuff says that it has a 10,000 pound breaking strength. The working load is 3333, 33, right? Okay. So a 10,000 pound rated hook, which is what we're using there is really only rated for use at 3333. We're at double that right now, okay? So things that could fail are probably, when you get into these systems here, are probably not what's in the ground, but what attaches it to the ground could fail. So basically what I want you to go away from, from this little demonstration is size does matter, okay? Bigger diameter, deeper into the ground, and more quantity is extremely important. 